welcome back to my channel or our channel I should say today I have gone grocery shopping and I thought that I would share with it all with you guys again I know I did one um, a week or so ago um, but it was our weekly shop again today so I was just like hey I'm just gonna film another one because you guys seem to really like seeing what we buy I am going to get started so I hope you all enjoyed this grocery haul and let's get straight into it my last grocery haul I put everything in categories and this time I haven't unpacked everything I've just left it in their bag so I'm going to unpack it while I show you guys so it's just going to be however i packed it in the bags that's how i'm going to show you guys the first item i've got here is just some tip top bakery raisin toast frederick absolutely loves raisin toast guys never met a child who loves raisin toast as much as him next in the bag is barbecue sauce now we always get the fountain barbecue sauce and we also get the one with no added sugar because obviously we don't want an added sugar into our diet also the fountain one is gluten free if anyone wants to know a sauce that you can have that is gluten free if you're gluten intolerant or have celiac disease fountain barbecue sauces and they also have a tomato sauce that is gluten free two bunches of asparagus in my next bag i have the wheat bix but i have them for the kids i know i could probably get the normal version which is cheaper but this does have less sugar and also less sodium so i got another cereal here and this is coca bombs if you're gluten intolerant or have celiac disease and you want to find an amazing cereal that maybe brings back old memories of coco pops these are your guy um so these are gluten free there's no artificial colors or flavoring and they have low fat the sugar is okay it's under 10 grams which we like to do um but definitely these remind me so 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 much of coco pops some more bread in here which is my english muffins these are obviously the wholemeal ones because we only have wholemeal bread in this household and then i've got a tin of diced italian tomatoes obviously they don't have a no added salt i was about to say sugar because the other one says sugar no added salt i also have another tin somewhere in my bag in my next bag i have some sultanas and apricots normally i change between sultanas and apple apples and sultanas and apricots so today we got the apricot one. So i got some random straw guys because i'm doing some sensory play with frederick a little bit later and we're going to be using straws also i just like having straws in the house because you know when you have smoothies or whatever they're just handy so that is random and that is balloons i also am going to use these as sensory play later today also got a little goodie snack for frederick and these are just rice crackers covered in chocolate they are amazing guys these are from the company called table of plenty and they're absolutely amazing the snack that i have here for frederick is just his dried fruit so I went and got the apple, the pear, and the strawberry. He also has a mango one somewhere, or he's already eaten the mango one. I can't remember. Pretty sure I got two mango ones, and he's already had one. Um, so there's another packet somewhere else. But these were on special for $1.20, so I just thought I would stock up on them because he literally eats, like, one whole packet in one sitting dinner dish thing i decided to get the tuna mornay one instead of the carbonara one this time plus tuna mornay you can literally use it for anything which i like so i think we're going to do this sometime this week well, that's why i bought it for some time this week also got some coconut milk so we can have tiger and curry one day this week we've got some tissues don't need to really explain why we got tissue i got two tubs or jars or containers whatever you want to call it of pva glue because this is actually not pva glue it's craft glue same thing there's no difference really um but actually i am going to be making some slime a little bit later for frederick so i decided to get two of these glue speaking of getting stuff for frederick and his sensory play later today i also got a bunch of beans and lentils for frederick i know this sounds really random to buy beans and lentils for frederick to play with but uh, you will understand if you go watch my vlog that i linked before because that would all explain 
why I got these. So I got some herbs because my herbs are running really, really, really low. So I got rosemary because I am out of it and I put rosemary on literally everything. I also got mixed herbs with I, which I also put on literally everything. So I went and got some containers of those so I can fill up my herb containers. The last thing in this bag I got is just some spray and wipe. I decided to get the lemon one. I normally don't get the lemon one but I just grabbed it. So um, yeah, just using this to clean my house. I swear this grocery haul is quite big compared to my normal grocery hauls, but that's good for you guys because you get a longer video. We went to Pantry Man also today, which is classified as my groceries, isn't it guys? Because we got food. So at Pantry Man today, we went and got um, Frederick's favorite fruit and nut um, covered yogurt thing. Um, and I also went and bought some of their amazing, amazing veggie chips. For what we got from Woolworths, I also got some of their battered fish fillets. Uh, I really wanted to get fresh fish. I wanted to go get some barramundi, but they literally had no barramundi. So I just thought these were unspecial, so I'll just get these. Um, even though I really wanted my barramundi. Also got some tuna. Now, Woolworths normally have more expensive tuna than Coles, which... It sucks. Um, but I just got the Woolworths brand tuna and I always get it in spring water because one, it tastes better and I don't want any extra oil into my food. I also obviously got, I said I got another tin of tomatoes, so there it is. I also got a big ass jar of peanut butter, guys. This was only five dollars. Five dollars. And the one that's the one size smaller down from it was five seventy, and I was like, no, I'm getting this one because it's on special and it's ginormous. I've got some meat here, so I've just got my chicken breast, and I've also just got one mince, which will do two meals in here. Also just got one mince, which will do two meals in here. Okay, so we've got two bags left, and they're absolutely jam-packed with stuff, so let's go through it. Oh! So I've got some more of Frederick's dried fruit. He's got another strawberry one and he's got a mango one. Also got some frozen vegetables here. So we've got a broccoli, cauliflower, peas and corn. Some mozzarella cheese because I love mozzarella cheese and it was on special so we had to get it. So the last thing in this bag we got some, we got some custard and we also got some yogurt for Frederick. bag is just some fruit and veg so I got a half butternut pumpkin also got two punnets of strawberries we've got a handful of nadine potatoes and we got five bananas so that is everything that I bought today from the grocery store if there's anything that you guys want to know more about especially like the gluten-free stuff just send us a message on Instagram or Facebook and I'm definitely here to help I guess we'll get going so I hope you all enjoyed this grocery haul if you did please give it a big thumbs up because it definitely helps us out and also subscribe if you're not subscribed already and I guess we'll see you guys in our next video. Bye!